Oh, God. Please tell me that Split Lip didn't decide to come in here for another walk. I'm not going to feel entirely comfortable about that, to be honest. I can't jump up there? Are you trying to tell me Daniel's not Michael Jordan? God damn it. I always knew there was something weird about this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go back to the back hall and see where else I can go. Maybe that will work. I have no idea. I'm just... I'm going on the assumption now, because I couldn't find anything in there. The only logical assumption to me is that the guy picked up the letter, moved it somewhere else, and left it there. And not that a gripper wrote it and then left it and nobody picked it up. Which would actually make a hell of a lot more sense, to be honest, so... I guess I just start picking rooms until I find the right one. <laughs> not the most brilliant strategy, of, of course, but it's the only strategy I have. There's a study, and then there's a guest room. Honestly, if I'm going to be trying to figure out where this... Okay, hang on. The chemicals are probably in the guest room. Because he said the room over. Now, he could have meant the room over in the study, but I'm hoping and wishing to my lucky stars that maybe I'm right, and but I'm probably not, unfortunately. Oh, it's roomy in here. With my channel. I wonder what they'd want with your journal, you fucking moron. Just the fact that it has the secrets of the shard, which are apparently very fucking important. The amount of times you keep writing about the damn thing, you tit. Uh. You know, maybe amnesia is really just a form of natural selection. Ugh. Ooh, crowbar. Tinderbox. Yes, I saw the note. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back to it. I don't need to like that. That's silly. Okay, well, check a few more areas here. God, they really ransacked the shit out of this place. Ooh, laudanum. I'll take that. Hmm. Again, I hate you, Viz. <sighs> I had two. God damn it, game. I didn't realize I had two oil. <laughs> well, I guess I had one oil before that, but I didn't realize I had any oil. Also, can I kill this cockroach? It won't hurt much. Just stand the fuck still. Ah, I missed. Okay, yeah, I can't kill the cockroach. I'm sad now. Uh, I desperately wanted to kill that cockroach. Also... Oh, jeez. Everything's jammed here. Hmm. No, they didn't find much. Well, maybe they did. The door stuck due to... <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a crowbar. This means nothing to me. Uh, let's see here. Did the crowbar actually break from that? Please, let it be here. Yeah, wow, that was, uh... Not the sturdiest of crowbars, to say the least. Fuck, 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 fuck! Thanks for the hint, game. I wouldn't have known that I was about to be raped without it, shit. No, 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 no. Please don't come in here. He's in here, he's in here, he's in here. Okay. 
Well, it's a damn good thing that these guys are as dumb as a bag of hammers. Close that door and Okay, we're good. Random lag spike there. I'm oh god, why am I getting random lag spikes? <laughs> if my computer if my PC cannot run amnesia, then I have problems. <laughs> Fraps is telling me I'm at a smooth 60 frames per second, because that's what I have it locked at, but wow. <laughs> anyway, July 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. They didn't surrender? After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay. Alrighty, well. I'll grab the last two notes, I guess. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Hmm. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Oh, shit's getting serious. Read this last one here and let's get the hell out of this room. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Huh. Well. Uh. Well. I guess we're done here, actually. The story is starting to come together. I like it. Honestly, I don't really think it was any sort of supernatural mumbo-jumbo. It was probably, let's be entirely honest, the cup of tea that helped him figure out how to fix the orb. Cup of tea. It solves everything. It is known. 
Professor Taylor was a second death caused by his damned curiosity. Okay, who was the first? Or did it tell me and I just not see the caption? It most likely did that. Okay, what do we got? I want to smash it just because I can. Here we are. <laughs> oh, come on. Ooh, another piano! Wub! I can't open it. Come on. Wub! 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 Hello! My baby! Hello, my honey. Hello, my right dumb girl. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my right dumb girl. I don't even know. That's not even syncing up at all. What the hell am I trying to do there? Jeez, I should be ashamed. Oh, crap. Well, now I feel really ashamed. Let's get through here. Are those dogs? We'll probably just find out that it was a really annoying neighbor. Oh dear god. Why is it lagging? Seriously, why is it lagging? What? Good god. Oh god, it's the windows. Ugh. I look at them and everything just tanks. Okay, we gotta get to the note without looking at the windows. What the hell was happening? Now it's fine. No, oh, whatever. I don't care. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Joyan Waya. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the heliodrome was described in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about. An underground, mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village named Alstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it's also become my greatest fear. As I, enter, as I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orbs from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but unfortunately they remained as I con continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Oh, dear God. Black leaves, black with leaves on... Blah, 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 blah. Can I make form a sentence now? Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in his pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. So there's more than one orb. At least that's what I'm getting from that. There has to be more than one orb. Because if Daniel has one, then where the hell would Agrippa get his? They're not sharing the bloody thing.
You know, funnily enough, I was wondering just then if I could actually break it by throwing a chair in there. I'm gonna try that now. <laughs> actually, no, uh, chair will do. I don't have to be picky, I'm, I'm just breaking a window. I'm a high class burglar. Oh, yeah, what do you know? No, not the chair! Oh, this could end poorly if I don't time my steps right. Okay. Uh, fuck your coach! Oh, that's not good. Oh, shit, the darkness is down there. God damn it. Let me guess. This got into a, this got me into a place I could wouldn't have been able to get into before. Ooh, it got me to a saving area. I like saving areas. I also like sprockets. Sprockets are nice. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return, Agrippa. I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. What? 